Welcome back to MTD CNC. Thank you all for watching and tuning in. And let me tell you, you will be happy you did today because you got Dave Fisher with me today. And we have one of their great four axis Akuma machines. There is some technology to this that on this part we're making today here at Akuma, they instantly saved 40% of the cycle time by utilizing one turret over another turret, but Dave is has all the wisdom when it comes to this machine. And I don't like to steal people's thunder, so David, good to have you with us. Let's talk about the capabilities of this machine and what you're showing off on this part today. So what we're doing here, uh, you know, obviously we've got two turrets. So what sets this machine apart, LU, LU series, is we have an upper and a lower turret. And uh, on this demo, we're showing what it would take to make this part with a single turret, which would be your more traditional turret lathe, mm -hmm. and then what it would take, what we can save by applying two turrets to the process, right? So when we run a single turret, we're a little over five minutes cycle time. We add the second turret, we're doing pinch turning, we're doing simultaneous grooving, simultaneous threading and we're taking that time down to just under three minutes. So like you said, over 40% cycle time reduction by adding that second turret, right? So significant time reduction. And then on top of that, we're using our cutting step feed function. And what that does is rather than um, just making a, a straight pass, it's gonna, it's gonna step it, right? So it breaks that chip and we can set how far we wanna cut uh, before we take the step, and then how long that step's gonna be, or how long that dwell, sorry, the dwell's gonna be. So, um, basically we look at when that chip starts to wrap, and we shorten the step a little bit shorter than that, and then we dwell long enough to break that chip. So, yeah, um, that makes yeah, sense that's to what me, we're doing Dave. with that. Something else I'd like to bring up, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm out of place, but Yes, we're talking about over five minutes to around three minutes, around 40% savings. I mean, to me, the investment is pretty obvious. Right. But also what we're doing in a lot of cases, and you've seen this more than I, but in a lot of cases, this can be a one and done process, and it could be a one and done faster process, or at least it's combining multiple operations mm -hmm. and putting it into one. And we've had this conversation with other Akuma friends as well, but ultimately we're fighting for floor space these days. We're trying to get right. more done in the machines. Right. And something like this will help us in that category as well, right? Right, and you're actually getting more done your opera per operator, right? So you're getting more done per operator. More Which done is, per operator. Yeah, I mean, and you know, it's hard to find. It's hard to find operators nowadays, so that's critically important. So speaking of trying to find operators, could I also adapt a robot or a cobot sure. system to the cell as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can do a gantry. We can do a, a standalone robot, um, whichever way the, you know the customer would prefer to go. We can stack them up multiple machines, gantry over, you know, two, three machines, whatever's necessary, make the part. And we can combine machines. So if you have cycle times where your first operation takes significantly longer than your second operation, we can use this for your longer operation, right, to get that cycle time down. And then use a traditional one turret lathe on the second op where you have less material to remove. So your tack time is reduced, but you, you don't need that cycle time reduction on the second op. So. And ultimately, that's all what we're trying to do, right? right. Reduce cycle times, have more profitability, yep. do more in the machines. Exactly. Flexible, rigid, rigid uh, precision. These are all things right. that come with Akuma. Right. Is there anything you'd like to discuss about the software or the back end of the machine? I know you have some components that are unique to Akuma themselves. Is there anything you'd like to elaborate on that I haven't brought up uh, just by bringing up this part? Yeah, well, another thing we're doing with this is uh, we've, we've gone away from proc switches to a laser sensor for the, for the chuck, to detect chuck clamp on clamp. And what's nice about this is from one part to the other, your, your clamping position will vary, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with the proc switches, you had to always manually adjust those proc switches to get to the clamping position. With the laser sensor, it basically knows where in that range it is. We, you, you set it for this part, and you can put that value in the program. You have, may have another part that's in a different position. You set it for that part. You put it in the program. As you, when you switch programs back and forth, the machine knows you don't have to do any manual adjustment back here. It adapts to, to whatever part you're running. You get your confirmation. Your setup time's reduced. 
like we said, it's hard to find operators, set up people. We want to save as much time as possible, and this just takes it out of their hands. It's done for them, and it's ready to go when they call up the program. David, you know, as you're talking, I'm mentally going through my imagination of my history of my manufacturing days, and I've definitely put a part into a machine and either had to run air cuts because I didn't want to cut too much as it was pushed forward in like a bar feed or something like that, but this is 20 years ago at this time, right, or right. I cut off too much of the part because it stuck out too far and I broke my insert or whatever it might be. So that's really great technology to switch from the prox to the laser. I'm sure the audience appreciates that as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, we with an open control like we have with the OSB, that gives the ability to adapt to new technologies, right? Because we can put those right into our control. They can run on the control. We don't have to have a separate PLC or that type of work. It's right on our control. Well, adaptability is key these days. I know Akuma is a leader when it comes to adaptability. Really great technology. I'm going to let you off the hot seat now, David. Oh. You've done an amazing job. I do appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. I hope you've learned as much from David as I have today. Really great technology. Give Akuma a call to learn some more.